Ah, oh, anyway. Hello, it's back. We're we're back. Back from the shop. Look what I got. And a couple of weeks ago, I made a, a whoopee cushion model that went wrong. So I bought some new ones. Oh, they don't even work. Wow, shit, are they? Those are the rubbishest whoopee cushions. Anyway, right. So there's a little video of like just what's going on. The whole thing starts with this beast that I've got working again. Look at the back. Beautiful. Let's flick it on. Ooh! Oh my god! Yeah! Thank you very much. So this is an old project that I had and uh, I've made it work again since uh, loads of people are like, what the hell is that? In here is a MIDI controller drilled into a very expensive guitar that I stupidly drilled into. The battery bay is in here. If you look in here, there's a lot of, there's a hell of a lot of wires. I haven't bothered rewiring it. It's an absolute mess. This digital microcontroller inside here, which is an Arduino, has a lot of inputs, but it doesn't have loads. I mean, how many buttons are there on it? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 22 buttons! What if it was a whole keyboard, like 88 buttons? The microcontroller that reads it and turns it into something else, like in this case, MIDI data, which comes out of this little guy into a synthesizer, which is down here. How does it do it? There's a term called multiplexing, which is basically when they take a lot of inputs and you turn them into only a few inputs. And I was thinking we should talk about the really, really simple version of that, which is called a button matrix. Do you take the red pill or the blue pill? I should actually watch the matrix. I don't think I've seen it before. I'm sure they do wear very cool, hip and happening eye gear. I seem to remember. But it's nothing to do with the matrix, okay? Ah, this is really tight. Ah, oh God. Yeah. Right. A button matrix takes a lot of buttons and pops them into a microcontroller with, you know, a f only a few input pins. I mean, a calculator. Look at that bad boy. Beauty. So it's got 20 buttons in here, but you can knock it down with simple button matrixing down to nine input pins instead of 20 input pins. So say if you wanted to hit number seven, that number seven button doesn't have to just go over to the microcontroller and say, hey, mate. Can you, uh, can you uh, do what I'm supposed to do? I'm the number seven. Can you please come and do that, please? Into its own little, little inputs. Not every single one of these guys, these buttons, has a separate door to go in. They all need to share doors. So I'm gonna show you what a button matrix is. So I'm gonna make a model. Sight crew. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So let's get the instructions together. Um, so what we got here, we got uh, all those bits and bobs. How does that work? I've done it wrong. I'm not even past part one yet. Ugh. Oh, it's starting to take form now. The side crew. Putting buildings up all over the world. Oh, Pete's ovaries. What is going on here? He's falling to pieces. Ah, oh, God's sake. This is what happens when you mess around with Pound Shop Lego. Super glue, I'm cheating. Stay on that. Yeah. This is just supposed to be easy. Beautiful. Here we go. Uh, see you later, boys. I gotta go and take my kids to school because I'm because uh, they do night class and all that stuff. Beep 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 beep. <sighs> oh no! The carriage blew up. Oh no! Oh, a nuclear explosion happened in the plant. Okay, that was that was a bit of a diversion. I didn't mean that kind of model. No, what I mean is a model of a button matrix. You get a bit of super glue and you kind of use it as lip balm. Super glue lip balm is the future. I'm promising you. Oh, right. So what I'm planning on doing is I've got these. Oh, sorry, GoPro. What I'm gonna do with it now, I've got these colored pencils. I'm gonna drill them in to make a grid. <laughs> a 
Right. It might not make sense yet. Ladies love my beard. Ladies love my goatee. I've just literally made rows of wires going between pencils, overlapping each other, and then when you push them, they make a contact, and that goes from the plus up into this LED, it goes to this LED, which runs down and goes to ground. So when you push on this button, oh my god! The world now has the button matrix 3000. It's not exactly what, I, oh, it's falling apart already. It's state of the art. It's absolutely cutting edge technology right here. So if we've got nine buttons, you need to think like, yeah, I need to plug them into nine separate inputs. But no, you don't have to do that because you could get gradually and gradually less. Oh, oh I've lost number two. So I'm pushing number three. Woo. So these three pins carry voltage. And these three pins on the side, one, two, three, take voltage away. So if I was to push one of the buttons, let's say one, <sighs> this light turns on and that light turns on because it goes And uh, number four, oh, oh, it's that light and that light. Number nine, so we've got that button and that button. So now you only need six pins to control these nine buttons. Oh, I'm feeling some current leaving this pin and I feel current coming into this pin. So maybe Number five is being pushed. Oh, current's now pulling from that pin. It's going over to this pin. So it must be. Oh, I've lost it. Four. Oh, oh no. Yeah, and so on. It can get more complicated and you can save even more pins because you can get this and then you can multiplex it again. So let's say if you end up, you know, adding another row here and another row there, that'll mean 16 buttons but there'll be just eight pins. Or if you go even bigger, like you've got five by five, that's 25 buttons, and you're only controlling it with 10 pins. So if I push number five, but I also push number three, the problem is all four of these lights have lit up. To the microcontroller, that looks like it could be either six, five, three, or two. That like basically because five is that one and that one, three, is that one and that one, but six is that one and that one, and two is that one and that one. Put all four of them on, like, it could be any of those combinations. How do you solve that? Well, that's when you start scanning each row separately, but this is just a really basic concept for, you know, really basic stuff. Next time, we're gonna modify this and turn it into the beast of explaining polytouch matrix buttons. This is kind of just like to explain what's going on in here and what's going on in most MIDI keyboards and all the other jizz jazzy things that have these kind of things. Hope that was a little bit of help.